First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashan, Yahweh Shai, Bahashan, Rakakwadash. Give all honor to the pastors and elders of Great Northstone who rule well, who I'm constantly learning the truth from. This is for you, hopefully, the elect of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckled birds that scattered across the four corners of the earth. You are the real Hebrew Israelites, the Bible speaks of. I'd like to start off with the uh, book of Matthew 24, chapter 42nd verse, and it reads, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord, Yahweh, by some Yahweh side, doth come. Verse 43, But know this, that if the good men of the house had known it, what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Verse 44, Therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye have not, such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Verse 45, Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Verse 46, Blessed is he that serves that servant, blessed is that servant, whom his Lord Yahweh, by some Yahweh shall, when he come and shall find so doing. Verse 47, Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayed his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink, with the drunken, verse 50, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of. Verse 51, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. If so you got to stand on your watch, study, show yourself approved, you know the rules. And that's for, you know, speaking of me, first and foremost. And uh, I'm just, you know, putting this out here, you know. Uh, I woke up with a lot of things in my mind, but this is most important. It seems, and that's why I'm doing it. Three classifications of men. You get the sons of the most high. You get the sons of the wicked. And you get the sons of of the heathen, basically. All right. Sons of the Most High, which is in, as you can see, 12 tribes of Israel. Judah, which is the so-called Negroes. Which I, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, that's the southern kingdom. So you got Judah, which is the so-called Negroes. You got Benjamin, like Yam Yam. The West Indies, you got Levi, the Haitians, you got Simeon, Dominicans, Zebulon, Guatemalans, two Panamanians, Ephraim, Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, Cubans, you got North American Indians, Ruben, the Seminole Indians, Naphtali, the Argentinians, the Chileans, the Chileans, you got Asher, which is the Colombians, the Uruguayans, Issachar, to try to get Mexico. All right. Sons of the wicked. Let's get the sons of the wicked. These are the sons of the wicked. Sons of the wicked. Sons of the wicked. At the reptiles network. As of this year, that this you know twenty twenty two, they, they they claim one trillion, but we we know the score on that. You know, they're the wicked, all right? And we'll try to make you a perpetual slave. You know, and also you have, you have the sons of the heathen, you know, which also are, which are also our enemies. And you know, you can go to uh, Book of Psalms 
and uh, you can go to um, Book of Psalms, chapter 83. You know, and it reads, uh, you saw that Psalms 83, 2. And it reads, For the Lord, Lord, mean, look, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thine hidden ones, hidden ones. Verse 4, they have come. They have, four, uh, verse 4, 83, 4, they have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Verse 5, But they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederated against thee. Verse 6, The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarines. Verse 7, Gabal and Ammon, Amalek, the Philistines, With the inhabitants of Tari, Asura, also is joined with them. They are hoping the children of Lot, say Lot. All of these are our enemies today, which would be the, the Ishmaelites, you know, which selling you these cigarettes, these these this, this loose Lucy's at these gas stations, and all the abominable foods that you buy, including the, the spoiled foods and making a buck off of you, you know. You got the uh, Koreans and Amnon, and you got those Asians there, and these beauty supplies selling you all kind of hairs for you women and all kind of things, and making money off of you, which is abominable things because they selling you blonde hair, you know. You go to the restaurant and eat that, that uh, uh, abominable food, some shrimp, the doggone pork, fried ch chicken and all that, pork fried rice and all of that crap, you know, so. These are the heathen nations. These are the sons of men, you know. Sons of the Lord, we got our rock jobs. The sons of the, of the Most High. That's our Allah. And then we get you some scriptures on that. Sons of the Most High. Let's go to Genesis. Genesis 32. Then we'll go down to 28. A few scriptures on that. Okay. Let's start. On. Let's start with uh. 24, verse 24, Genesis 32 and 24 in the reads. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of day. Verse 25, and when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. Verse 26, and he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. 27, verse 27. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. Verse 28. Genesis 32, 28. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with the heavenly father Yahweh by Shemi Hawassah, and with men, and hath prevailed. You know, so they're going to go and look this up. Let's start with the... Uh, Let's, let's, let's try this first. The NLT. Your name will no longer be Jacob, the man told him. From now you will be called Israel because you have fought with the powers. And with men, you have won. All right. So, now, uh, let's go to... Uh, Into linear. And let's go to uh, Israel. They got Israel, but that's a, that that Jewish thing they're going on. Not not our language, but that's that other language, that other stuff they substitute. Let's see. Uh, Israel equals. 
power. That name, God is power, al -Hayim. Okay. The second name for Jacob, give it to him by the Most High after he wrestled with it. Let's see. Okay, let's do this again. Let's see. said thy name shall be called no more Jacob but Israel for as a prince has the power and basically what it comes out to uh, mean uh, prince and power you know so let's also go to Isaiah 44 Book of Isaiah, and we will go to uh, 44 and 1. And it reads, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, the Hashem Yahweh side that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. Okay. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods, floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. Verse 4, and they shall spring up as among the grass as willows by the water courses. Verse 5, one shall say, I am the Lord's. Let me read it again. Verse 5, one shall say, I am the Lord's. And another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand to the Lord Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh, and surname himself by the name of Israel. Thus said the Lord, verse 6, the king of Israel and his redeemer, the Lord Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh, of hosts, I am the first and am the last, and beside me there is no power. And who? as I shall call and shall declare it and set it in order for me since I appointed the ancient people and the things that are coming and shall come let them show unto them fear ye not neither be afraid have not I told thee from that time and have declared it ye are even my witnesses is there a power besides me yet there is no power I know not any Right. Now we're gonna go to Isaiah forty-five and four. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord Yahweh, God has me Yahweh side, and there is none else, there is no power beside me. I girded thee, through, though thou hast not known me. Okay. Now we're going to go to uh, Isaiah 43 and 1. But now, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, God has me Yahweh side, that created thee, O Jacob. And he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Okay? Okay, now let's get to the sons of the wicked. The rock stars who ruin everything right now. The leadership is just about over with. It is over with. It's crumbling now. All right? So let's, let's go here. First, let's go to uh, Job 9, 24. OK. 
chat. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? That's who he is. That's who they are. All right. Let's go to Malachi 104. Malachi 104, and it reads, Whereas Edom said, We are in progress, but we will return and build the desolate place. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh's side, of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh's side, hath indignation forever. Okay? That's the wicked. That is the wicked. You know. And we know who the heathen are. But what to say, I said all that to say this, that it's a recompense that's coming. So let's go to Isaiah 65. This recompense is coming. Isaiah 65 and 1. That's what I'm going to start. And say, I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me. Behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out my hands, verse all the day to a rebellious people which walk it in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. And that's our people, the two-thirds, because they rebel at their stiff neck. The, the, the word is out there, the videos, they have, they, they have the camps, the, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, word is out, the camp, different camps, the MS camps. Everywhere you look and turn, they're there, right? Verse 3, A people that provoke me to anger you continually in my face, that sacrifices in gardens and burning incense upon altars of brick. You go into these churches, you know, you're still doing a lot of abominable things. Uh, uh, that's the two-thirds of our people, you know, the nation of Israel, you know. All right? And you're following up behind Esau, even the wicked, you know. All right, verse 4, which remain among the graves and bonds in the monuments, which each swine's flesh and broth of abominable things is in their vessels. You know, you're still doing the same things. You don't want to repent. You know, so it's a recompense coming. Verse 5, which says, Stand by thyself, come not near me, for I am holier than thou. These are smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. Verse 6. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense unto their bosoms. You know, kids, everything, it, it, you know, all, all this judgment going on right now, you can see it. You, you, you have a lot of things going on. You got the kids killing the parents and all of that, you know, going on. and That's recompense. It's judgment. You 
jump. Just let's go to Jeremiah 16. Jeremiah 16 and 18. start from uh, the fifth verse. And thus said the Lord Yahweh Bashi. This Jeremiah 16 and, and 5. For thus said the Lord Yahweh Bashi in the house. I enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to lament, nor bemoan them, for I have taken away my peace from this people, said the Lord, even love, kindness, and mercies. Both the great and the small shall die in this land. They shall not be buried, neither shall men lament for them, nor cut themselves nor make themselves bald for them, neither shall men tell themselves for them in the morning. To comfort them for, for the dead, neither shall men make, give them the cup of consolation to drink for their father or for their mother. Thou shalt not also go into the house of feasting to sit with them to eat and drink. Verse 9, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, I see Yahweh, sir. The host, the power of Israel, behold, I will cause to cease out of this place in your eyes and in your days, the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. Verse 10, and this shall come to pass with thou. So show this people all these words, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore hath the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh pronounced all these great evils against us? Or what is our iniquity? Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord Yahweh? I will call it. You know, and that's what they're saying right now. You know, this is what you know what Jeremiah was going going through, you know, back back in the days, you know. But this is what's happening again now, you know. This is what's happening. You know, but there's a recompense coming. Verse eleven. Then shalt thou say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, said the Lord, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law, and ye have done worse than your fathers, but behold, ye walk every one after the imagination of his evil heart, that they may not hearken unto, unto me. Verse 13, Therefore I will cast you out of this land into a land that ye will not neither ye nor your fathers, and there shall ye serve other powers day and night, where I will not show you favor. And that's where we at right now. We're here, you know. We're here in this land. Through slavery. They're trying to let us slave uh, trade. That's where we at right now, you know. Verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh, but I see Yahweh said, That it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Verse 15. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from the lands whether he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their, the land that I had given unto their fathers. You know, so that's, that's talking about, you know, you listen and come up out of all this, this madness, you know, you be, you're going to be singing the songs just like Moses and them, you know, they sung the song when they came up out, got delivered out of Egypt. But you got to come up out, out of here, you know. Spiritually, mentally, you gotta come up out of here, sir. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Sah. Verse 16 Behold, I will send for many fishes, said the Lord Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Sah. They shall fish them, and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every nation, from every hill, and out of the holes of the rocks. You know, so. Gathering together, the of the northern and southern kingdom, you know, of Israel, you know. So, 
we want to be subject to the recompense of Yahweh Bahashim and Yahweh Shah. We you know we serve that time, we coming out part of it. You know, so we want to serve the Lord in all sincerity with all our might, you know. Make our bodies a living sacrifice. That's the goal here, you know. And the study and so like self approve. You know the the rules. You know. So let's go to uh look at Jeremiah again. And let's go to uh the fifth the, the fiftieth chapter, twenty verse. Recompense. Jeremiah 50, 29. Call together the archers against Babylon. The archers. The nations with all these nukes that's going on. You know, these, these, these ICBM missiles, you know. But it reads, um, Jeremiah 50, 29. Call together the archers against Babylon, and ye that bend the bow. Camp against it round about. Let none therefore escape. Recompense her according to her work. According to all that she hath done, do what you heard, for she hath been proud against the Lord. Yahweh binds me a house against the Holy One of Israel. You know? So now we come to the point where we are uh, here in, the, in, in Babylon, the great, that better known as America, that name means be bitter. Bitter because we're not happy here, you know. Nobody's happy, I see, because when the righteous rule, people rejoice, you know, and the wicked rule, people mourn, you know. But this is where we're at now, and, and, and this hole that made all the other nations angry, and that's why they're coming against us. Let none dare and escape recompense her according to her work, according to all that she have done. Do what you heard, for she have been proud against the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Hamasah, against the Holy One of Israel. You know, because you know, what, what this holding did to us, to Israel, you know, and to his name, they blaspheme, they blaspheme the, 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 the holy angels, you know, you know, the and they did every abomination of the sun, and then you still have some of our people following them, you know, behind them. They're gonna get judged, recompense as well, you know. So let's go to Second Thessalonians. Not wrong one. Let's go to the book of Second Thessalonians. Six verse. Seeing it's a righteous thing with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shem Hamasah, to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Verse 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh by Shem Hamasah shall be revealed from heaven with this mighty angel. Verse 8. In a flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, and that obey not the gospel of the Lord Yahweh Shem Mashiach. Verse 9 Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, and from the glory of his power? And everlasting uh, uh, destruction, you know, that's. You know, when uh, you get caught up on here, not believing, still sinning, not repenting, scoffing, and all that other, all that other stuff, along with Esau, even in the heathen nation, you're going to get judged, you're going to get recompense, you know, from the ICBM missiles, also from the chariots of Yahweh Bosch and Yahweh, so shooting out those concentrated rays. Grinding you to powder. Yeah. Verse 10. When he shall come to be glorified his in his saints 
and to be admired in all of them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Wherefore also we pray always for you that our power, the power by Sunni Homicide, will count you worthy of his calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work or the work of faith with power. Okay. Now we're going to go to uh, Isaiah 30, chapter. First verse in the reads, Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh's side, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And woe means destruction. Get that right quick. And uh, the NLT, you know, reads, what sorrow, what sorrow awaits by rebellious children, says the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, sir. You make plans that are contrary to mine. You make alliances not directed by my spirit, thus pulling, thus piling up your sins. This is iniquity. So. Now let's go to First Peter four seventeen. And it reads, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the heavenly father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh side. And if it first begin at us, where shall it end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh side? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? You get it? It's an 18 verse. Verse 19. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Holy Father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Sah commit, commit the keeping of their souls to him in well doing as unto a faithful creator. Okay. So, so we keep studying, keep walking in faith, and if we're not even walking in faith, that's we walking in power. You know? And who you in? And you walk in power. You walking in the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, because it's coming down to. Uh, let me tell you what it's coming down to. It's coming down to this. Revelation thirteen. And sixteen. It reads. Well, let's start at. The uh, list 13, 14. No. The list 13, 11. And it reads, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb. And he spoke as a dragon. Two horns like a lamb. You know Speaking about talking, they're talking on that. They're talking about then you got your both uh, uh, political parties, you know, and they, they, they both talk sweet to one another, two horns like a, like a lamb, you know. And telling you they're gonna help you out, this and that and the third, and they're not. Because they are the same, they they you know, they are the same institution, you know. They work together, you know. And LT, then I saw another beast come up out of the earth, he had two horns like those of a lamb, but he spoke with the voice of a dragon. And he's speaking with the voice of a dragon, you know, with all those draconian laws, you know, there's a uh, uh, politician. You know, Jacko, you know. 
than for the littlest crime. You just put to death. But that's coming. It's coming. Hardcore is coming. You know. It's going to be all kind of laws. It's going to be hard for you to, to make it out here unless you do certain things for these devils. You know. And you're about to see. You're about to see. All right. Verse 12. And he exercises all the powers of the first beast before him. And cause the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast. Whose deadly wound was healed. You know. That's the revised Roman Empire, you know. They, you know, they back now. You, know, you can look at the structures, you know, of the buildings, you know. You go back to the Roman Empire. You know, they got a place down here in, De not in Detroit, you know, Campus Marshals. If you do the research, that's from the Roman Empire, you know. You know, the obelisk, you know, look on the paper dollar, you know. It's a solid Egypt, but everything is re, re, redone. It's a redo, you know. The Roman Empire is back. We're living in it. The revised Roman Empire. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and to the dwell there to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And, uh, 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 that's just images and everything else, you know, the system, you know. And, he, and in verse 13, they need to upgrade wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. You know, what was what was that, what he did? What, he, he, he took out uh, Nagasaki and uh, uh, Hiroshima with those atomic weapons, you know. I mean, he done that. He, he bought the, he, you know, this devil bought the world to his, to, to, to his knees, you know. Then he, and then, then he built it upon that. He built everything. You know, he, he built it upon that. You know? That's why when you go overseas, you know, they look at, you know, the, 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 the women in Asian countries, you know. They used to wear kimonos. They don't do that no more, you know. They wear Western dress, you know, Western attire. They're you know, making, even them themselves, making, coloring their hair blonde, you know. It was just an abomination, you know. All, in, all these nations that drunk that Babylonian wine, you know. Verse 14. And deceived them that dwell on earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, they that shall make an image to the beast, which which had the wound by the sword and did live. And then the image to the you know to the beast that image that that image is the the system of the Roman Empire. The ancient Roman Empire. That same system is back. 15. And he had power to give life into the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast shall be killed. You know? You gotta bow out to these people. But but there's gonna be Israelites that's not gonna bow out. There's also gonna be heathens that's not gonna bow out. But theirs is for a totally different reason, you know? And, the, and that reason is because the homicide and homicide put it in their psyche to do, you know, to do so, you know, for destruction. See? And it's, you know, it's going to be a lot of things going on like it is now. They, they, you know, they're going to... Tell you, you know, we can make you walk, we can make you see again, you know, just by using their uh, pseudoscience, using their abilities on the left hand side that was given to them by your Hawaii and your Hawaii side, you know. But that's going to be their own destruction. All right? And it costs all both great and small, rich and poor, free and bonds, and we see a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Karagma, you know. And that no man might buy or sell, save he had that mark, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay? And this is what's happening. 
you go. The RFID. You have it right here. You're gonna try to make you a perpetual a perpetual slave. You know? That's what they're trying to do. They're gonna put put that carotid in. And it's got a cold. And this could be scanned, just like a you know, it's called a universal product code. You 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 will be you will be a perpetual slave. That's what you will be. That's what you will be. That's what you will be. Okay, now let's see. Here's the wisdom. Let him that understand. Let him who have understanding count the number of the beast. What is the number of a man? And the number is six hundred three score and six. Okay. Go back to this. That's that UPC code, universal product code. What's that say? These you see that three six. You see. Now, uh, we're going to go to Revelation 15, starting out verse 1, and it reads, And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of the Most High Yahweh by King Yahweh. And the seven plagues and everything happening in stages, the seven plagues, you know. Verse 2. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Son. And he's standing, you know, that's, that's when... You know, uh, in between the six and the seven trumpet, you know, with our hell breaking loose, you know, that's when the elect is going to be beamed up in the chariots. You know, and this is this is what uh, uh, John seen in the Isle of Patmos. It's on the Revelator. You know, that's what he's seeing. You know, you know well, I, I hope to be. Part of the, hopefully that to get caught up into the uh, chariot, you know, and as well as other brothers and you know the new one, num the new one, uh, number, the one third. You know, verse three, and they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Most High, Yahweh by the house, and the song of the Lamb, which is Yahweh by saying. Great and marvelous are thy works. Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who shall not fear thee? Verse 4. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, and glorify thy name? But thou only art holy, for all the nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. Exactly. You see? Now, let's go to Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah 26. Isaiah 26 and 20, and it reads, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyselves, as it were, for a little moment, 
until the indignation be overpassed. The champs, they're talking about the chariots. You know, you get beamed up, you know. And you're going to be in, in, into the chariots. You're gonna have, they're going to have doors. They got doors in. You're going to shut those doors. And you're going to be chilling. Scared, though, but you're going to be chilling. Because you're going to be barely saved, okay? Verse 20, 21. For behold, the Lord Yahweh, by some Yahweh, shall come out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth shall... The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. You know, there ain't gonna be no more of that. You know, this place is gonna be desolate. It's gonna be destroyed. You know, not just, you know, this Babylon. You know, America. The earth gonna go on, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be cleaned up and it's gonna be swept with that fire, that, like a broom of, uh, look, Everything gonna be set right. The real redo, renewed. All right. Let's go to Matthew. Twenty-four. Hit the thirteen chapter. And the raise. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. And we are at the end of the end. And it's, and it's right here. You know. I can't tell you then. You know, but it's close. You can see all the signs. We at the end of the end. You know, so we just have to endure it and study and keep strong and, 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 and keep fighting for the for your for your, for, 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 for the righteousness that was you know given to you in these scriptures and in the teachings of you know. Through the apostles and the elders, a great millstone who are the oracles of Yahweh and Yahweh so that we can be perfect. It's not the time to uh, step back, it's not that time. So with that, the rocket thing, how we buy some of your house, I call a little like a how we buy some of your house, I buy a silver cock with us. Shut up, one.